love is all that you need Well, I grew up and I found out love ain't free Peace, she be coming with fears Yes, little baby, somebody gotta pay for those brand new jeans Growing up, I wanted all my brothers involved Then I found out you not my brother at all Peace, that's me deep Now I'm sitting there thinking, was it all worth the view? Look at what I lost, but look at what I'll get in return for this walking, baby, come through Oh, what's going on with you, YouTube? Jump and Chris here, we're coming back at y'all with another vid And what we have here today, bam, that's right And these are the Air Jordan 4 Olive Crafts Air Jordan 4 Crafts Olive is basically another variation because we had the Pantone Dust Crafts that came out early this year. They sold out, they're okay. Uh, these on the other hand, the Olive colorway, you know, at first I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't feeling these at all. I was like, yo, these are straight dude do. But now that I have more in hand, and if you can actually switch the laces up, they actually look pretty good. Like, I don't mind them. I think they're okay. Is it a cop? Maybe. It would definitely be better cop if I get, can get it under retail because everything goes under retail nowadays. Air Jordan 4. Air Jordan 4 are still kind of hyped up, I guess. I feel like Nike and Jordan brand has been kind of dropping the ball with, you know, Air Jordan 4 colorways as of lately this year. You know, I think the best one was probably the SB4s. You know, everyone say that's the sneaker of the year. Or the, the Thunder 4s. But other than that, I didn't really like any of the other colorways. They're just okay. I think next year is going to be way better for Jordan 4s. But this is what we're in and off with. The Olive. Now, I do actually like Olive colorways. I do have some all Olive, you know, shoes in my collection. But if you change the laces up, you know, if you want to give it some that some people call these the poor man's, you know, undefeated. Remember those? And you switch it up with the orange laces. It actually looks pretty good. But personally, I'm gonna switch it out later in the video to like a cream laces that will kind of match with the midsole. Fire. They're set to release on November 18th and it's gonna retail for 210 full family sizes with GS sizes, taller sizes, and preschool sizes. I don't think these things will be that hard of a cop. I think if you actually put a little bit of footwork in, just like everything else that has been sitting as of lately, I think right now in this whole sneaker world, we've been kind of having like some type of sneaker buyers fatigue for sure just a lot of releases a lot of saturation and just a lot of bad colorways overall you know and this is one of them that's just like it's okay it's not that bad but if you like them there's definitely a fit you could definitely put on with these and it's actually a pretty good colorway for the fall hey let's just go ahead let's get into this review real quick huh all right all right all right let's take a quick little 360 of these things now i must say they're not bad. They're not bad. They're okay. They're fine. You do have this olive box here. As you guys see, you got the cement print throughout. Gets the theme of all olive, just like how it was with the crafts. And it is an uh, open box, just like this. All olive. And also, you got the flight with the whole, I think it's like vanilla Jumpman right there. It's a little different. Like I said, it's pretty. It is exactly the same thing as crafts. Proton dust, I think that's what they're called. As you can see, you got that fuzzy suede on the toe box here. You got the new buck on the toe box, all the way through, wrapped around to the heels. You got the black leather lace wing up here. And on the crest, you know, they swapped it out, the little netting right here. So there's no netting. It's like that fuzzy suede here on the side. And it's kind of cut up to where it looks like a netting. It's kind of like a two tone. You can see the olive and like this kind of light olives kind of makes it look like a seaweed and i never knew what this whole patch was here on the side of the hills like is it a design is there a purpose for it because they have this on the crass and i don't think we ever knew, i never found out what this is all about of course you have that emboss like vanilla pale vanilla jump man on the back of the hills you got that smoked out translucent pull tab here in the back it does not come with an extra set of laces so you just come on with your standard laced up all of laces that flat rope laces no netting here on the on the tongue either and then on top of the tongue you do have that flight jump man tag here on the back and uh this tongue here on the top 
is this fuzzy suede same material like how it is on the heel collar as well on back of the tongue here just like on all air jordan 4 it has a tag air jordan and then you have your like kind of like greenish dark black sock liner inside and same in the same as the insole got that dark outsole with that pale vanilla jump man on here on the bottoms of the insole white midsole right here you can see the air bubble see-through air bubble popping through the bottoms you do have your traction pod here that little vanilla pale vanilla got the stars here the traction pod got your little baby jump man right there now, i don't want to get your soles all nasty and dirty so make sure you guys get on that drip grip use my discount code jumperman10 it is the best sole protector on the market today no slippage no tears multiple wears i wore these at a sneaker event all day and it's still good to go so guys make sure you guys get on that drip grip use my discount code jumperman10 all right guys these are the air jordan 4 craft olive medium olive whatever you want to call these things like i said they're okay they're not that bad it's definitely a great fall shoe i mean are these worth the price that they're going for i mean it is an air jordan 4 you know air jordan 4 are still kind of hyped up it just i feel like this year the colorways not so great but i think next year will do a lot better air jordan 4 people still love them believe it or not I think these things will probably end up selling out. I don't think they'll be like a straight up sellout like immediately. It'll probably be like how it was with the Red Cements. The Red Cements didn't exactly sell out immediately, but eventually they did. You might definitely, I can see GS sizes selling, you know, sitting. Are these a must cop? I mean, the way how things have been lately, um, a lot of retros has definitely been sitting. A lot of retros have definitely been going on sale and discount. So. Is there a chance these things hit outlets and go on sale and you guys save a little bit of money? Potentially, yeah. But it's still Air Jordan 4, so I would think these things will sell out eventually. It's not like the Red Cements to where like they're going for like under retail or anything like that. Or they're probably just gonna go at retail at best. So, I mean, again, is it really worth it? If you wanna wait, I guess I say, I don't think they'll go on sale i just don't think they're gonna like sell out instantly so take your time if you can afford it cool if not and you don't like them then move on resale wise I, again this is probably one that i don't think they're gonna do that crazy i know air jordan fours are usually like at the three plus or something like that some people think these things are gonna do really well i think they'll be just kind of like okay like these are probably be the same price point as like the red cements or even the crafts they're not really going for anything basically at retail so is it really worth the cop for the resale probably not i think these are probably for personal that's it if you like them cool then move on guys good luck trying to get these things should be that difficult to get again if you if you really really like them and you really really want them just put a little bit of footwork in should be just fine anyway guys hey i appreciate y'all i love y'all if you guys don't mind please hit that thumbs up Subscribe if it's your first time here. Comment down below and please hit that bell for all the notifications when I do drop vids. And don't forget to follow me on all my social media at Jumper Chris on IG, sometimes on Twitter, and don't forget Snapchat. I'm also on TikTok. Anyway, guys, appreciate y'all. Love y'all. I'm Jumper Chris. Peace.